How's it going guys? So today in the Phantom Cave YouTube channel we're going to be talking about the latest in the Phantom, what I've been reading and we have some new comics that I've been reading in the last probably couple nights and so let's get into it. So the first comic we actually have, these ones are actually from 1989 and the first one we have is the Elephant Sect. Second one we have is The Beanstalk. By the way, it's a very good story. Um, I very much enjoyed it. And The Swamp of Horrors, which I read today. So let's get into it and hopefully you enjoy this review of these three comics. We have The F Old Phantom... We have the old Phantom t cotton t-shirts and this, yep, this was back in the 19, late 1980s. Um, so we have the elephant sect. So this story is, this story is one of your unusual sort of stories. It's not much Phantom in it, but it's still a good story to read and I encourage you to read it if you have it in your collection. Now this story being that I got this from a collection where I live um, is it's a pretty good I say it's an all right story probably four and a half or four four phantoms out of phantom cave or five phantoms out of phantom five um, but that didn't make sense but anyway we'll continue. Um, so the story is basically that the emperor, the emperor of a country that is near, um, Bengali, that is like he, the emperor gets, well, the prince gets killed, assassinated. Um, the emperor, I think gets killed. And then the two other prince that are still looking, still trying to survive from being killed, are eventually captured, but in that time being, they, uh, one of them is brought to a village, and the village tries to save them, um, tries to not get killed, obviously, and but then the village is brought up into flames. And the Phantom has to act upon it. So then the Phantom has to basically save both of the princes. They The Phantom goes under cover, under disguisement, and basically gets rid of this elephant sect and finds out where and how the elephant is blowing fumes, blowing fire, at, to call their signs or signals to tell the person that, the, to tell the evil person that that's what it is and that's how they're doing it. So, and to tell them signals and signs and all that sort of stuff. But in the amongst of all that all happening, the Phantom has to try and, because they, the Emperor, the elephant sect that had killed the emperor, killed the, one of the couple of princes and did all this, actually had to, he or the, basically the sect had to destroy one of the embattlements of a, because this is based back in the 16th Phantom Chronicle and they, then the country has basically destroyed one of the European settlement things, settlement embattlement, embattlements, and the Europeans, the European people that are surrounded, it is then they are surrounded by a lot of people. They are surrounded the, basically the big palace, and are wanting to tear it down and destroy it because of their disallegiance. And the Phantom saves everyone, and the Gu the God of Gunan is no longer available and no longer used. 
and then they pull up the white flag and we're all good. So the next story we're going to be talking about is a news story that was back in the 19, late 1980s. It is called The Beanstalk. Now, The Beanstalk, he hasn't had a very good life with himself. He is continually getting into trouble, but it's not actually his fault. It's other people's fault taking the fall for him. So it's The Beanstalk. Beanstalk is a guy who is selfless. He can he can help anyone and still get into jail, which is not that great if you think of it as a way that he shouldn't be in jail, he should be a good citizen and all that sort of stuff. But Beanstalk is led to believe that he's a nobody and he is then just put in a ba- jail for no given sake he isn't putting the he's put in the jail for no given sake and the phantom finds this out and has to try and get him out of jail and has to try and bring him to his own tribe because he did come from a tribe back then and it it's we find out late in the story that the tribe that he had come from his father has been dying from, I don't know, um, he's dying of probably old, old age, and Beanstalk and the Phantom uh, basically escape from Boomsbury Prison. Phantom is on the run against all these odds and basically um, gives the Beanstalk an old chance at life and gives him a tribe of his own and he is a wise person he knows what he's doing and he's brave and he's a good leader for their chief so he's a good leader for this chief and what i'd like to point out is that a lot of the stories that have um sort of villages that you don't really hear of in the phantom comics these days is this is one of the these tribes that Bees Stalk as actually comes from. You don't usually hear his sort of village in the Phantom Dailies or the Phantom Um Sundays or the Phantom stories in general. Um because probably there's no story to be attached to that um tribe and so they need to try and make one and so this Right here, these panels right here um, are explaining to Beanstalk that how his childhood has been forgotten and his childhood isn't that... Well, his childhood is being forgotten and he's been um, a brave person and he's been misled by a lot of people. And then the Phantom has to go and see President Luaga, and we all know how that turns out a lot of the times. Um, we have a couple ads. I'm actually going to do a post on the Instagram page about this. I might because of that ad, old ad. Maybe this as well. I'm not too sure. So Swamp of Horrors. Swamp of Horrors is... One of your stories where it's very spiritual. And so Swamp of Horrors, I read this today, by the way, and it's it's very spiritual. It's the same with Beanstalk. You don't usually hear this tribe that they are talking about. And the tribe that they are talking about, the story that they're talking about, their god, their evil chief has come back from the dead from the swampiness and so the phantom hears of this um outrage and the evil spirit the evil ghost the evil chief has to try and really try and force the tribe people the tribe villagers on to make him chief basically and if they don't do that they get punished for some odd reason and 
they get so scared that they have to pull up in the Phantom. They have to get the Phantom to fight their... Basically to fight um, this evil magician. And, yeah, this 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 story, I... It's, it's an alright story, I guess, but... Um, it's not one that you want to um, say. Say if you you're reading this at the dark night time, and say if you get um, you're scared of these sort of evil magicians, especially when kids read the Phantom, they got to be a bit watchful on what they read and what they hear and how their midnight, um, say like terrors or mid midnight um, things happen. So they could have nightmares and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you definitely don't want to read one of these sort of comics that is very spiritual and very uh, sort of nastiness to it. You don't want to read that at the, at night time. No, you're going to have nightmares. Um, so then the Phantom and a few of the Warriors then have to... Um, try and fight them, but the warriors obviously don't ex don't um, for play um, for the they don't actually do anything as much. They just run away, and the chief's son gets poisoned. And then there's a mad rush for the phantom to try and save the son, and he does. And the evil, basically the evil magician, basically. He basically challenges the Phantom. The Phantom challenges the evil magician, and the Phantom does ex does. He gets brought under to the swamp. He's the evil magician thinks he's the Phantom is dead, which we all know that the Phantom's not going to die even so. So the Phantom has the opportunity to struck fear into the magician and that's what he does. He struck fear into the opposition and basically, yeah, scares them crapazoids out of him. That's basically what he does. Scares the living zibbon out of him. And so the evil magician um, then basically disappears and a new legend is brought around while why the phantom destroyed the phantom destroyed um the evil magician for all but will the evil magician ever come back to the stories as we know we will never actually know we'll never actually know what actually happened to the evil magician and if you liked those free comic reviews then you can subscribe down below so click click that subscriber button down below and you can help us with a loads of things you can get you can get exclusive content that i make my own created content and interviews that I interview with certain artists, certain publishers, and a whole heap more if you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. So click that subscriber button down below, and we'll see you next week on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel. See you.